Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collect Coll Collects Collapse Collexus. Don't know what that was. Okay. Hello. Um, in Hi. this episode, we're going to be going through this bag of two hundred and fifty pounds worth of fifty pence to try and find the rare and valuable ones, the ones that you can find in, in your change, and hopefully the ones that are worth more than the fifty p that's stamped on them. And with a bit of luck, something for my book. This book, this bag here, book bag, can't get words out there. This bag, Lady M will be opening in the next episode. So if you're watching this on a Tuesday, this will upload on. Thursday. So if you can enough to move your bag out of the way, Lady M. I'm going to give people a little review of how I'm doing with my book. Um, because you're on a bit of a comeback, aren't you? Mm. I thought I was streets ahead, and I probably still am. But Lady M's catching me up. But I'm hoping, Lady M, for a fine today, and I'll tell you why. Filmed on Friday the 13th. I need 13 coins. So I think that is good looking. Good looking. I'm good looking. You're good looking. Who's cooking good looking? Honestly, flipping. It's like Wowzers. spaghetti in my mouth here. Blah, blah, blah. So I need Q Gardens, and I'll probably find it because I've uh, found two this year. Spoiler alert coming up on a Sunday. Uh, so Q Gardens. I need some uh, af uh, blah, blah, blah. I need some Olympics, athletics, basketball, botcha sounds like gotcha, canoeing, football, which I've never, ever found. Ever, ever. Ever, ever. Handball, judo, rowing, tennis, triathlon, volleyball. So I still need some big hitters, some of the top five. And I've got a space here, right in the back, just scooting past the puddle duck there. Right. Oh, you've got one now, haven't you? Oh, you've got a duck. Mm. Uh, no. Oh, you didn't. Oh, I blocked the duck, didn't I? Yeah. That's right. Uh, so it's right past that puddle duck that Lady M doesn't got, got doesn't have. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't got. Uh, doesn't got, hasn't yeah. got. And uh, there's a space there the ready for the off. King's Coronation coin. Right, this bag, I'll tell you why I picked it. Because there's a bag, the there's a bag stuck in the top. So this was ordered in by my new old mate Sue from the post office. Roll the other bags inside. She ordered it in, and whoever put this bag together got stuck in the top, and it's been there all the way to transit from wherever it came from to Bungle Land. So mm. uh, I can't read whatever it says down here. Don't know what that means, but I'm hoping that this one here will do the biz. Ah, rock hard northern mail. I'm going to open it first. Oh, okay. I'm going to be the open opener if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Ooh, these are thick bags. Good quality awesome. thick bags. Uh, filmed it with a new phone as well. I'm hoping, and I'm pretty confident, I've cracked the dodgy uh, focusing. Oh, yeah. So I think I've done that. Action mode was the answer, Lady right. So hopefully now. If I don't drop coins. everything, if I don't drop everything, hopefully now we'll be able to focus oh, let's in. Find out. Let's try it. No. No. Oh. Have you definitely got it in that right mode? Just go a bit closer again. Keep go go past it. Uh. Oh, well, anyway, it's a bunny. Damn. Oh well. So I'm I'll try and have it sorted for the three. next episode. I'm going to say three. Three bunnies. I'm going to say seven bunnies. Wow. I'm feeling optimistic. There is a 2017 shield. I'll have to press this button in order to do a, do a zoom in. So a low minted shield. I've got quite a few. I'm hoping it's part of our retirement plans. And they'll eventually become more valuable than the 75 pence to a pound that it is at the, uh, at the moment. Also looking for some, not just the low minted shields, they're not intended for circulation shield as well. And anything odd, maybe I'm after some oddities. Have a look at like mm -hmm. some of it's maybe a little bit rotated or a broader strike, anything kind of error. -y. So we, will you keep an eye out for that for us? I'm doing my best. And 2020 shields should start coming through in abundance as well. Mm -hmm. That is just a tale of Peter Rabbit. He lots of him, nearly 20 million. So we've got the two, the two commemoratives you've got. Two commemoratives that we've got today are the two highest minted commemoratives that you can get in terms mm -hmm. of 50 pences in the UK. Commonwealth Games. That itself is also highly minted. Mm -hmm. Now there's another bunny. How many did you say? Three. And I said seven. We've got two. Did you check it for rotation, I that did, bunny? Yes. And was it rotated? It was not. It it was was not. I would have mentioned it. Right. Okay. Just checking because I know you're not always, you know, as efficient as you should be. Right. That's for sure. So yes, 2020 shields are on the way through. The, we just had the announcement as well, uh, it was yesterday at the time of filming, so it'll be the last week by the time you guys watch it, that the new definitive coins mm. have been announced, uh, including the, the fishy pens piece. So that will 
we don't know whether it'll it says it'll be released later on in the year there's dictionaries that's just a, another high mintage coin oh that must be um, my shield tower. so will it go into circulation in 2023 i'm gonna say oh my bag's that thick but oh no what oh the bag was that thick when it oh no i was like yeah, this is, this is, yeah. There's a little piece stuck in it, yeah. They're that thick, they don't just, they don't just fall out. Uh, yeah, so it says later on this year. Oh, there's a nice scout. It's quite not, not in bad condition, that one. I have to show you down there because the Zoomerama is not uh, is not, not on board. Uh, so yeah, later on this year, will he enter circulation in 2023? I'd say highly like, unlikely for all of them. I think there'll be enough coinage in the long store that's already been minted for when the Queen was with us and they won't, they won't actually mint any for circulation, is my guess. But it is just a guess. 2024, I'm sure, they will be minting 2024. Definitive from one denomination or another. What do you think, Lady M? Do you have any views on that? Yeah, no, I think they're probably right. It's a bit late in the year. It's like you say, when we were last there, didn't you say it was like the long story was pretty much full? Yeah, yeah. And so and, and the king had, had actually house. said, because yeah. he had the choice to m melt down all the coins in the long store that are there in storage ready to be yeah. circulated when required after Brexit. Don't do that. Yeah. It's a waste of time, effort, money. And obviously harming to the environment. Yes. So I just can't see there being a demand for 2023 definitive coinage. But who knows? There might be one of them or a couple of denominations that's lower in the long store than, than others. I don't know. Now, I like the definitive coins that much. I was a little bit guided. It's kind of Lady M's problem, fault, <laughs> because she did say that she really liked the definitive set. I think they're awesome. I think they're absolutely amazing. What a change and just to yeah, it's absolutely the right way to go. Okay. So what was it as an amazing change? Was it good enough to uh justify the two hundred pounds I've spent on <laughs> said things? Well, 2017. Santa won't be bringing you any other Christmas presents. 2017. It's another shield. Yes. Well, I've done it because I bought the bunk set. So brilliant uncirculated. One of each denomination. That was £33. I've then bought the dual set. So the one that's got the same 2023 definitives in. Yeah, I did but, like that one. But alongside the Queen's 2022 set with the shield. I thought that was a nice idea. Yes. And I like the Queen and I like the shield. So I got that. That, that was £66. And then I couldn't resist because I really do like the definitives. Everything except the, fi the fishy pens piece. Oh, that's I don't. Nice, I know I don't like the salmon. But I really like the others. So uh, I bought the proof set as well. There's another people act, and that was uh, that was almost a uh, hundred pounds. So did get free postage though. Oh well. So at least that was something. Mm -hmm. So six to eight weeks delivery. I think the Royal Mint has learned its lesson, and it's uh, rather than over promising and under delivering, it's maybe it's exaggerate the six to eight weeks, and it will over deliver, and it'll come quicker than that. But I don't mind. They arrive when they arrive. Do you do chicken and pork, though? Uh, yeah. Do, do you do liver? No, but we do chicken, beef and pork. Mm -hmm. There is a Paddington at the tower. Third one. There we go. So I'm looking forward to getting them. And my favourite, just going by the pictures, and I will reserve... Uh, as a, another people act. I'll reserve judgment until I see them. But I don't think there's a bad one amongst them. And I think oh, I quite like the the two pence, which has got a an animal. Is it a beaver? Something no, like that. There's no beavers there. Definitely no beavers. There's a. Uh, there's a. I think. One of them. It, was it the pennies got the dormouse? What is it? A dormouse. Yeah, I think so. What's the other one? Looks like like an otter or something, isn't it? Diversity. Uh, I don't think so. It's something like that. So I, can't, I can't think what it is on the top of my head now. So there was. A dormouse, a grouse, I think it was. The grouse is on the 10. 
Yeah. Puffins on the 20. I do quite like the puffin. Puffin, bees, orc. Yeah, orc was the 5p. The £2 was like a combination of each flower, nation's yeah. flower. Yeah. Um, so, it was something curled up. It was something like a beaver. Yeah, it's a dormouse. No, the dormouse is on the 1p. Yeah, it's curled up, yeah. Yeah, no, the, 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 the one piece of the curled up animal as well. There's another shield, 2017 shield. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I can't remember what it was, but I quite like the two. It's that, it's that, I like it that much, I can't remember what it is. Oh, no, it was a squirrel. Was it a squirrel? Yeah, no, it wasn't a squirrel. There's a red squirrel. Oh, red squirrel, that's right, yes. So I think I quite like, I think, I think it's the red squirrel one that I like. I like the puffin. Um... But the favourite's the bees. And then the dormouse. Bee, then puffin. Oh, right, okay. The puffin could just about take it. Right, there's Benjamin Bunny number three. Mm. Mm. It's nice that they're going in my money box, them yep. bunnies. Not rotated. For the, you know, for the... Well, at the end of the year, we'll see who's found the most. A little mm. sub competition. Yep. There's Jeremy Fisher. I thought it was going to be bunny number four. Thank goodness it is not. Mm. Yes, I think I'd rather. Well, would I be happy to get three bunnies and lose the individual episode challenge? Probably. Probably. It's been a bit Peter Barron, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, pretty basic. No, no big boy commemorative, so has, has it been picked through? There's always that chance with rolling over post office change. Although, of course, there's always a chance that someone's cashed their collection in. Getting towards, there's the libraries. Getting towards Christmas as well, so people have been collecting all year. They'll start uh, cashing their collections in like a, like a Christmas savings thing. So you just don't know, do you? No. Cash in is around the corner, potentially. But for the minute, I haven't chose very well. In fact, I'm going to say I've chose poorly. I don't should... know until we go through man. No, yeah, hopefully we'll have even less. Hmm, still 13 required. Wonder how many you need. Maybe 15, 16. 16. I we'll find out in the next episode. Yeah, and I won the Benjamin Bunny Challenge. You did. Well, stick, up, stick them in my box. Did you check this one for rotation? Did. did you say you did? Just yeah. check them. Okay. I know you want to. I know. I like, I, I like to give it a spin as well. Right. There we go. They're going there. Ready for counting later on in the year. Slim pickings indeed here, Lady M. Mm. Oh, I'm not sure I can call her. I'm not sure I've got one. No. I suppose the scalps probably. Yeah, it's in quite nice condition. Yeah. It's in quite nice condition. Quite highly minted. But yeah, that's not, yeah, we'll go with the scouts. Yeah. Yeah. Done. Right, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>